We're gonna be going late game with the strategy that I just created, Darling Village Glue in the highest arena, and we're gonna see how it works out for us. If you guys are in fact new to the channel or a recent viewer of mine, please consider clicking that subscribe button because only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. And remember, subscribing is 100% free, and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. But without further ado, let's just hop right into this. All right, so I'm going to be starting off with the Darlene as my first popping power tower. And then right at the start of round two, we're going to be setting the young man constant freaking rents because, of course, we are in fact going with an eco strategy, all right? Wacko is our opponent, and he's going to be going with the sub as his first popping power tower. Also, too, he's going to be farming, which is gonna be kind of hard to use on this map marsh all right marsh is definitely a late game map all right and also too there's not that many farm spots in this map all right so he's kind of limited to the amount of farms that he can get but maybe he can still work things out and he's going with the ice too all right so sub ice farm we don't even have any forts either oh lordy lord i don't know if that's gonna work out i really freaking don't all right but I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And here's round five, right? So I'm going to be using my first super eco booster, right? And he used a dual eco boost, by the way, right? I never pointed that out, right? But he's given $75 per set of bananas from his farmer, right? So he's got money coming in left and right. I'm going to finally, by the way, upgrade to the power for darts because I just uh, never did that, all right? So that should help us out against these AI balloons. And like, he just refuses to be aggressive towards me. Which is greatly appreciated, right? Because we can just chill with this powerful darts dart lane, not have to worry about like not being able to defend against anything. Because honestly, the dart lane tends to struggle uh, during the earlier game rounds, in my opinion, all right? Because it's just really freaking expensive in order to defend against like constant blues. So, like I have to upgrade to the dart lane alone, which is eight hundred fifty dollars, and then a seven hundred fifty dollar upgrade for the powerful darts. Like that, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of freaking money, all right? But this strategy works out way way better as the game gets later all right but he's gonna be sending me yellows okay so this is what i was kind of scared of but th this is fine all right he's gonna be sending me even more so i'm gonna try to like maybe no i can't defend against those all right i ended up using a lightning all right we ended up tanking some lives but we are chilling at the end of the day all right so yeah i couldn't ask for more case so i'm gonna have to go Ooh, i don't know where i should go for this I guess I'm gonna go for this village right here, right? Because I want my glue towards the front of the map, right? So I guess my glue is just gonna have to go right here. I'm gonna set this bad boy to actually strong. Go for the 2-2. Two, two. I'm gonna use my final super eco boost as well. Go for the monkey forder, right? And it looks like he's trying to go for a reactor on his side, I believe, right? So with our power combination, by the way, of course, yes, we had the super eco boost, the lightnings, and then the big balloon buster, right? The big balloon buster is only gonna be helping us out during the later game rounds, all right? Only against mob class balloons, so we kind of have to make it late game. We, we literally do, okay? But we're gonna see what happens here on round 13, all right? Should we go for a glue hose? We, we could. I mean, I, I think we'll be fine. I think we will, in fact, be fine because now we got the villager, right? So our glue has camel detection and he needs to worry about his farm game, guys, all right? His farm game is honestly not the greatest. He only has two plantations. Wacko, what are you doing, buddy? I don't know what the heck he's doing, okay, but I'm gonna get to like a thousand eco really quickly, all right, and then maybe save up a little bit more money uh, for these later game rounds, all right, because like round 15, round 16, he could easily send us a rush, all right, and also, too, look at all these pinks. Oh my goodness, I had to use a lightning there. No if ands, or buts about that. And do I need to upgrade even more? No, I think we're good, all right, thankfully. So I'm gonna go for the glue hose, yeah. I think going for the glue hose here is the way to go i'm also gonna have to upgrade these dart lanes a little bit more as well so yeah just gonna do that all right just to play this on the safe side because i'm not trying to die to anything stupid obviously but now that we have these better defenses we should 100 percent be able to fully defend against all these ai balloons and whatnot all right so yeah i'm feeling a lot more comfortable and round 18 is going to in fact be approaching all right so we're gonna have to watch out for that round oh my god is he trying no way no, oh, oh, I see, I see what you did, 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 I see what you did. Oh my, please tell me that's enough. That's enough, right? Oh my goodness, he knocked out my village, guys. <laughs> oh my god, that was almost like really, really bad. Okay, so he's just gonna try to eco, I guess. Oh my god, that was really scary for a second, okay? But a defend is a defend, 
So awesome. Well freaking done. I'm going to go for another 2-1 dart lane here, right? Because it looks like we are currently chilling, all right? And he's ecoing pretty hard. He's screwed. Wacko is absolutely screwed. This strategy goes nuts, guys. Holy crap. I'm going to continue on the game, though. Why the heck not? He didn't have a decent farm game anyway to begin with, so he could actually, like, rebuild those farms back up and possibly get back into this game, all right? But we have what? 1500 eco for round 19 that's pretty solid if you do ask me uh, most likely he's gonna be sending me a bfb here so i'm gonna have to kind of watch out for that all right uh because that could hurt us a little bit so i'm gonna actually go for the jungle drums as well uh that's going to increase the attack speed and also range on all of our towers although the range on the dartlings really don't matter it's just the range on the glue i guess okay but so far still no bfb from the young man or right we could easily by the way easily send him a bfb and he would really struggle like tremendously freaking struggle all right but looks like with that reactor and ice shards combo he's fully fine against all the rainbows and whatnot within the ai all right so well well freaking done we're just going to continue on equine of course and at any point in time though he could send us like a bfb or something like that it actually would be kind of tough to defend against but if worse comes to worse we do have the big blue and buster. Oh my god, he's trying to go for the BIA. He's trying to go for the BIA, ladies and gentlemen, on round 21. Better late than never, I guess. And he's actually been ecoing pretty hard on us, right? So his eco has got to be at a decent amount. So he is not out of this by any freaking means, all right? Round 22 ceramics are, in fact, here. Let's see how we can defend against all of those with the glue hose and 3 2 1 dart lanes, I think. We should be absolutely golden. And yes, we were. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It looks like Wacko actually ended up tanking lives. Never mind, all right? That must have been screen lag. And there he finally goes for that BIA, all right? So, well, well, freaking done. No way, guys, all right? So, we're going to need an insane amount of eco in order to make a strategy like this work out, all right? And the last time that I used the Dartling during the late game rounds, all right, I upgraded to a ton of Ray of Dooms, and it still was not enough to defend against a single ZOMG, all right? So, yeah, I don't really know if I want to upgrade to the Ray of Doom side, considering also, too, the Ray of Doom upgrade alone is $50,000. It's going to be a little bit cheaper, actually, uh, with us having the Village, but still, guys, I don't know if I want to do that. I might commit to just upgrading on the right side instead, and then we can see how that can work out for us, right? How about that, guys? And now we have enough to upgrade, actually, to the Monkey Town. This is going to increase the amount of money that we get per set of pink cents, so... Yeah, gonna be upgraded to that, all right? And we're still chilling when it comes to defending against these AI balloons. And it looks like Wacko just went for his second BIA. Well, well freaking done. He's got much better defenses as well. And dude, look at the AI balloons on our side. Holy crap, they push quite a bit, all right? So I'm gonna upgrade to one Hydro Rocket Pods, all right? That should ensure our defend for freaking sure. And let's see, okay, so yeah. We're definitely going to upgrade to the right side over the left because the right side is way, way cheaper. And also, too, it's still not bad. It really isn't. I don't think we're going to be able to fill up the map with a ton of rare dunes. We're just not going to have enough money when it comes to just eco winner, right? If we were farming, although farms, there's not a lot of farm spots, too, on this map. But if we had a map where we could set down a ton of farms, that would be a way different story. I definitely would just upgrade on the left side to the rare dunes instead. Uh, but yeah, we, we're not going to have that much money straight up. Although we already do have 5,000 eco for round 27. That's really, really freaking good. Okay. So I'm feeling confident in that aspect. All right. But round 27 AI mobs are here. Let's see how we both end up defending against them. All right. Because I mean, he's only got the sub really. So he's probably maybe going to need to first strike that. Actually, he does not have enough money in order to do that. He ended up glue storming though. And look at us guys. We are struggling out here, okay? So I'm going to end up upgrading to two more Hydro Rocket Pods, right? Just to ensure that we can freaking fully defend. I'm also probably going to end up going for the left side of the glue instead, all right? So yeah, I'm going to end up doing that, all right? Let's just get this up, set this bad boy to strong, and we should now be absolutely chilling because the left side of the glue is going to do more popping power damage towards my class balloons. So it's just going to help us in the long run, all right? It doesn't do technically as much stalling as the right side of the glue. But honestly, I don't notice any significant difference. So yeah, 
We're just gonna stick with the left side of the glue and we should be absolutely freaking chilling, all right? And by the way, our eco goal, I guess it's gonna be like 8,000 eco because we already have 6,600. And the fourth upgrade on the right side of the dart lane is $14,000 alone with the villager rounder, right? So yeah, that's, that's a lot of money, okay? That is quite a bit of money for sure. Let's see how we defend against the round 31 AI, by the way, all right? So yeah, dude, good thing that we upgrade to the left side of the glue, all right? This is helping us out way freaking more for sure. Round 32 ceramics are here. Um, we should hopefully be fine. Uh, I, I don't want to risk it though for the biscuits. So I'm going to end up upgrading to two, two, four freaking dart lanes. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. But he should be fine as well because he's got the reactor. He's also got that Arctic wind and ice shards combo. So yeah, he's going to be absolutely freaking chilling. Well, well done. He's going to have to do something though soon here, boys. I mean, he hasn't really been upgrading to more farms. Oh, <laughs> speak of the freaking devil, he is going to be all out of me. No way, guys. All right, so I'm going to end up selling this. I'm going to go for a call to arms ability instead. I'm going to be getting up a ton more of these 2-4 uh, dartlings as well. We just need them on the map stat. He freaking knocked that out. That is fine. We can just get it right back up. And we're going to use this call to arms ability alongside of using all these dartling abilities as well. It's going to really freaking do a lot of damage, all right? Just know that. So, yeah. Do we even need to use it? I'm going to anyway, all right? So, let's use that call to arms ability. Big balloon buster as well. And let's see how fast we can just disintegrate all of that. Holy crap. We got the ZOMG still on the map. So, I'm going to end up using these darling abilities as well. He's going to end up knocking out that tower. That is fine. I'll just use another call to arms ability, all right? And that should seal the freaking deal. Oh. <laughs> Good thing that we ended up going with the right side of the dart leader, right? That was just too freaking easy for us, all right? And it looks like Wacko is now really, really struggling out here. He needs to use a first strike ability or he's dead. I don't know why he's not. Maybe he might barely survive, but this young man, he is just... Oh, okay, there he goes. He used the first strike ability, all right? So, well, well done. He doesn't have really any more options, guys. He's just going to slowly but surely start to die to the AI. And then it's going to be a GG after that. Oh my god. This call to arms ability with the right side of the dart lane combo is actually freaking nuts. That, that was literally nuts, guys. All right. It looked like, by the way, Wacko was about to possibly die. But he ended up defending. Okay. So well, well freaking done. Uh, BFBs and whatnot are going to be starting to come out here very, very shortly as well. We did hit our goal of 8,000 eco, by the way. So might as well just kick it to 9 because we're already over halfway to 9. Uh, so yeah, we'll just stop at 9,000 eco, call it a freaking day, and then I guess like we can do whatever we want. I mean, we can build up more defenses because he might possibly, maybe, um, try to all out us once again. We still have two big balloon busters as well. Dude, by the way, I did not need to use the big balloon buster right there. I kind of just wanted to see like how much damage it, it was going to do, all right? Uh, but it looks like Wacko C. Dude, look at that. That first strike ability, it's no joke, guys. That just one popped all those freaking mods right there. That's pretty good if you do ask me, okay? But I I guess I'm just going to go for more Dartlings. Uh, wh why not, you know? I'm going to go for another Call to Arms ability down here. And I don't know what the young man's going to end up doing, all right? It looks like he's trying to defend against these AI balloons. But he might just go down uh, to these BFBs, all right? It's just a little bit too OP for him, in my opinion. But he also does have that glue stalling, all right? So may maybe he could prove me wrong. Maybe he freaking can. I'm going to go for another 2-4 uh, village up here. And I'm going to start to go for more Dartlings up here as well, all right? The more, the merrier, right? We only have... We don't have too many on the map, actually, all right? So we can get up a lot more freaking popping power. And it looks like Wacko is actually disintegrating all these AI balloons, all right? So well freaking done. Looks like we're actually struggling out here, all right? So I'm going to end up using a Call to Arms ability to help us clean up the map because... That was not looking actually too good for us at that time, all right? But we're doing much, much better now, I think. Are we? Oh, no. Wacko's dead, though, right? Wacko is not dead. How is Wacko not dead, guys? This guy, he just refuses to die. He he can't die. I'm going to use these called arm abilities, all right? Hopefully, this can help us out. I can also use all these Dartling abilities. And, dude, we actually need more freaking things on the map, all right? So I'm going to go for another left side of the glue over here. Set this bad boy to strong. I'm also going to be going for another 2-4. Uh, and finally, oh my god. 
Wacko just refused to die right there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, but finally, we ended up getting the win. And that is, in fact, going to be a GG, all right? So that is also going to be wrapping up today's video. Let me know how you guys thought about today's Dartling Village Glue strategy in the comments below, all right? But the last question that I asked y'all in the last video was, what is the one balloon that Ninja Farm Super Monkey really struggles to, all right? And the answer is... Region Leds, all right, so this guy won, congratulations, man. And the next question that I'm gonna be asking you guys is, which upgrade side is cheaper on the Dartling, all right? The left side or the right side? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comments, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys enjoy. Once again, it's been your Volvo Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.